No? Welcome. Oh, yes. I hope everyone had a wonderful time gathering with small groups for those who were with small groups in the past hour. Um, I hope the conversations were fruitful for you all. Welcome to worship. We're so glad you all are here, whether you're here in the sanctuary, here online. Um, we're just grateful to be able to spend this time in, in worship together. Tonight, Balin Geis will be sharing the word by video. We are so grateful that she will be joining us uh, sort of over the internet. We had hoped to do it by Zoom, so it is a pre-recorded video, um, but she's absolutely here in spirit, and we are so grateful. I don't know if she's here online. I hope so, and if not, that's okay. Um, but thank you, Baylin, uh, for sharing the word with us. We're so excited um, to hear what you have to uh, share with us tonight. The, there will be two videos. There will be a sort of a pause and interruption. That is planned, um, and we will hopefully be able to move forward with no technical difficulties. Thank you uh, to all of our tech folks for working on that. Uh, tonight, any offerings that you may have will go to local benevolence, which is divided equally into three parts. Uh, one supports House of Neighborly Service, uh, a second part to support emergencies that arise uh, among any families in our community here at Zion, and a third to support any local agencies who may appeal to our congregation for help. Um, and finally, one last announcement. We had a speaker scheduled for next Wednesday, and that speaker is no longer available. So we are uh, appealing to you. If you are interested and courageous, and we will help you to be courageous, um, and you would like to speak in this wonderful, caring, supportive community of friends, <laughs> you really can't choose a better community um, to, to share a word with. Um, we would love to, to hear from you, um, and we're happy to help uh, sort of work with you to help you figure out uh, what you would like to say. And next week, our theme will be all about compassion, um, and we can kind of guide you in thinking about maybe where you have seen or experienced compassion in your friendships, or maybe where you're needing it. Um, and again, we'd be happy to, to work with you if that's something you're interested in talking about. Okay. What? You had a taker already? Praise God. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kathy. All right. Without further ado, <laughs> let us worship God. Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> light of light, shine in your Jesus Christ, light of light, shine in your people ears. Keep up our snow boot here to flight as evening ushers in.
The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We praise you and thank you, O God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom you have enlightened us by revealing the light that never fades. Night has fallen and day's allotted span draws to a close. The daylight you created for our pleasure has fully satisfied us. And yet, of your free gift, now the evening lights do not fail us. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom be glory, honor, and power to you in the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. As we turn our gaze to you, find of creation, and live our days with you, find of creation, and burn and blaze in you, find of creation, of us. We lift our hands in O God, from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
Your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer rise before you as incense. And with the lifting up of our hands, may we offer our whole lives to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Tonight, our reading comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. Again, I saw all the oppressions that are practiced under the sun. Look, the tears of the oppressed with no one to comfort them. On the side of their oppressors, there was power with no one to comfort them. And I thought the dead who have already died more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has not yet been and has, seen, has not seen the evil deeds that are done under the sun. Then I saw that all toil and all skill in work come from one person's envy of another. This also is vanity and a chasing after wind. Fools fold their hands and consume their own flesh. Better is a handful with quiet than two handfuls with toil and a chasing after wind. Again, I saw vanity under the sun, the case of solitary individuals without sons or brothers. Yet there is no end to all their toil and their eyes are never satisfied with riches. For whom am I toiling, they ask, and depriving myself of pleasure? This also is vanity and an unhappy business. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, they will, one will lift up the other. But woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A, three for, a threefold cord is not quickly broken. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone, as many of you know, I am Balen Geis, and I am a sophomore at Skidmore College in upstate New York. And I'm just really excited to be here today and be able to participate in Lenten service because as I grew up at Zion Lutheran Church, I always enjoyed the Lenten season because, especially because of the midweek services and discussions. So it's really awesome that I can still participate. Uh, across the country. So um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience about support um, in friendships. So uh, I'm going to start by talking about how I've been supported in the past and the present. Um, so let's go with that. Um, so first I was going to talk about my baby shower because through Zion, through the Zion Choir, um, they held my baby shower and as many of you know I was adopted from China as a baby and it was just really awesome that even before they knew me um, like the Zion choir even hosted my baby shower and was just so excited to meet me and to support my parents um, and I just thought that was amazing just without even having a relationship with these people that they like cared for me and loved me and supported me. So that's how I started my life basically. And, um, and I've gotten that support through Zion and from my friends and family um, since then. And I've just been very fortunate. Um, also, I, as I've grown up in the church, I have made so many connections and I, I'm so lucky that I have so many people that I can turn to um, that will reach out to me and ask me how I'm doing. So like in the present, while I'm at college, um, my family, I, um, my family sends me stuff like my mom sent me. So 
some engineering paper because she is sure that it helps um, make you feel smarter and I don't disagree. Um, and also I've received um, boxes from church with letters um, and just support things and that's been really amazing but I think even above like gift giving um, I just feel the support of my com the community um, even when I am in a different state um, living away from home and I realize that I have such a close connection with the people that I love at home and through church um, and being away from them is hard but I can still feel that support and their love for me um, even when I'm I'm busy with tennis and when I'm busy with homework um, I still know that these people are there for me and I know that because they'll call me um, I get texts from people from the Zion community and just saying that they're thinking of me and are wishing me the best and I know that, that that they're being genuine and it really helps me like carry on even when I'm maybe really stressed or tired and all of that jazz with being a college student but um also I was I plan to talk about how I support others and I think I'm only really able to support others because of the support that I have been shown and um, it's kind of like filling, like other people fill your bucket and then you're able to fill other people's bucket and I feel so fortunate that there are so many people who are here to support me so then I have the ability to support others by maybe calling people. Um, like friends from home, um, like some people who are homebound um, and checking in on them and some people don't have enough um, connection like uh, because they're homebound or something like that and uh, it really makes me happy to be able to connect with these people as well. Um, I really loved, to be specific, I really loved um, being able to talk to Elaine Hart I've been able to visit her and she's been um, been homebound for a while because of long COVID symptoms and I have been able to even do the Zoom calls um, in between church service on Sundays and chat with her and um, Howard and Naomi um, and Elaine Nichols and anyone else should also hop on if they're on Zoom. but that's just right after service but um, that really makes me feel connected with the community and I think they really appreciate um, me talking to them as well um, also I did um, call a friend for a long time um, who was going through um, a big loss and I was checking in on her and making sure she was doing well and um, supporting her because I know what it feels like to lose someone that is also like younger and that can really be so hard and it's very hard to go through that um, as a young person specifically um, when a friend or loved one passes so um, I set a reminder on my phone for every week to make sure that I would remember to check in on her and see how she's doing and now I've I've been very happy to see her doing well and um, and she's been able to support me through any stress with tennis or just college. So um, I think us being able to be there for each other is really incredible. Um, so yeah, um, also there's a future part that is very near in the future that I would want to I want to talk about uh, regarding support. And that is about this lady named Ronnie who is friends with the Reince, uh, Will and Kathy, and Kathy and Will, they gave me Ronnie's information because Ronnie, she actually lives um, right near uh, Skidmore campus, the school that I go to, and she actually audits classes here, and I think that's amazing, but um, I'm actually going to meet her tomorrow 
um, on campus after both of our classes and she's already so, like willing to wants to meet me wants to come to my tennis matches whenever she can um, and I called her today and she was so excited to hear from me and meet me and I think that's incredible because we've never even met and um, and she knows and loves like the reen so much that she wants to support someone that they care for as well um so i think i think that's an amazing situation in general um and um i thought of a couple analogies so for support like one-on-one -on -one support is kind of like a tether between two people kind of like in like rock climbing when someone's like climbing and if they fall they have someone that will like catch them um like conceptually at least and i think that's really cool because you can pull someone up and um you might come down to help them kind of thing um but the thing that i thought was really cool analogy wise past that is when you have many connections and many tethers you can create a web and that creates a web of support and i think that for example meeting ronnie which will be tomorrow is like a web of support because um because the reins support ronnie and then because of that ronnie is willing and wants to support me which i think is incredible um and i think the more and more that we support each other um the greater a web there will be and um when everyone supports everyone then there can't be anyone left behind um and i think that's really a huge part of just the church in general and my experience with the church is that um community and connection makes a huge difference so um so i was gonna end with a quote and it is from lilo and stitch and here's stitch this is for my mom of course and it's ohana means family family means no one nobody gets left behind or forgotten and i think if we continue to make these webs and can and support others and um that in turn allows other people to support other people like that um then everyone is family and nobody gets left behind or forgotten so um i don't know i might end in prayer so will you pray with me i won't do it uh repeat after me um dear god thank you so much for the support that you give us and please help us to support each other and show kindness and love to everyone we meet so that no one will be left behind or forgotten amen Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful week.
God of love, we thank you that you have kept us under your protecting care in the day that is past. Bring your healing to the wounds of this day, those we have inflicted, those we have felt, those that trouble our world. Cover us this night with the wings of your grace and raise us to a new day with Christ, our light and our peace. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. and defend us and lead us into life. Amen. 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 
as we go out into this evening, let us go with the peace of Christ. The peace of Christ be with you now and always. And please share a sign of Christ's peace with one another and with those gathered online. Peace be with you.